You ready to go? Let's go. All right, let's do it. boat show where if you have deep pockets you can have a good time <laughs> for the rest of everybody else you're just sitting there starry-eyed and starstruck over all the ridiculous boat prices that are left around and there's a lot of things that quite frankly are just confusing to me oh yeah I agree there's lawnmowers here beds all beds. sorts of stuff the hell's beds here? so yeah we're here for a very specific reason we're hoping to tackle that before we get out the doors and then tomorrow we have some fishing. Today we have some fishing. Yeah, yeah. It could happen. It's not out of the realm of possibility for me, but most likely it's going to be tomorrow morning. So that's it. I, we did some fast footage of what was in here, and I think we're pretty much over this situation. It's way, um, more, it's way more pricier than I can afford. Yep. So that's about it. We're going to get out of here, and next time you see us, we should be off to the water. So let's get to that part. Yeah, you got him. Okay, Tim's hooked up. Got a giant trout. Oh, that's a really good one. Oh my goodness. That is a nice one, Tim. 23, he ain't my peeps, 24 is my peeps. Oh, he a nice fat trout though. No doubt about it. Very nice. You gonna release him or keep him? Okay, hold on. personal best sheep pad got 18 and a half inches it's a good one let's see if it'll show his teeth oh yeah they're right out good oh nice all right we're gonna let this one go definitely cool to get a peeves on a day like today it's been slow yeah all righty peace on the crappiest reel i've had for like 18 years Straight mono too. I can't remember the last time I caught a fish in a straight mono. It feels foreign to me now. Bam! Got it on the outcast rod though, broke it in. That's the first one on it right there. Thanks man Harmon right there buddy. Okay, so I thought this would be a perfect time to go through and explain exactly what we had going on out here uh, by the causeway arches. So on the right hand side you can see the arches and we are on the ambush side. That means the current was running through uh, at us and what we were doing is we were taking a shrimp and putting it on a jig head and we were casting it anywhere from the middle to the outside edge that's farthest away from the camera right now of one of those arches and the key was to find a jig head that was heavy enough to hit the bottom but also light enough that the current would push it towards us so that we were able to work the water now the idea is is that you let the current drift it down and if you get hung up a little bit then you just lift up on the tip a little bit 
free it up and allow that jig head to keep going down to get in the different cracks and crevices where the sheep's head are. So not our ideal species, but it's a lot of fun to catch. It's a monster, dude. That is a giant right there. Oh, what? That's it right here. This just happened. Dude, that is awesome. I thought the last one I caught was awesome for a peeps, but this one is a giant. Yeah, that's a big one. That is super sweet. Uh -oh. I can't even hold on to him. Yeah, he's a big, big one. I'm not going to get stuck by him, that's for sure. But boy, he's a giant. Stick him, on the, stick him on the cooler. Let's see what we got. 20. One. Woo! 21. Woo! 21 and a quarter. Yeah. Wow. That's a big one. Huge. That is awesome. I'm super duper stoked. Got him on live shrimp with a 16th ounce jig head. He swallowed it. I mean, he, he wanted it real bad. So I just cut the line. I'm not going to hurt him with the hook. Um, you know, he, he's going to swallow it the rest of the way. The hook will rot out, but um, he is gigantic. I am super pumped for this moment. That's that's excellent. Caught it on that moxie rod over there. Yeah, old blue. I caught lots of. That's the one I caught the gar on. Yep, Owen lent it to me while he's making my rod, so that's super awesome. But we're gonna let him go. Oh. Man, he's huge. That's sick, dude. That's awesome. I'm super stoked. Super stoked to share it with you guys too. Let's get another one. Let's get one. Holy teeth, dude. Yeah, almost like sheepies. Welcome back to Texas Fish Slayers. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Michael Lentz, and on the phone, I got my best friend, Tim Haley. What's up, Tim? What's up? What's cracking, man? So, son of, son of a what? Hi. Nothing, Jax. Was, Jax was interrupting us. Oh, pfft. what up, Jax? <laughs> oh, let me put it on speaker. Say hi. Hi. How are you doing, big buddy? I call my brand new cup. Your brand new cup, yo. Oh, right. Is it a big boy cup? It is a big boy cup. Oh, that's great. <laughs> That's uh, that's Tim's son right there. Okay, so I've got a confession to make, Tim. What's that? I put that shot of the sheep head pooping on your hand in the video. Well, why wouldn't you? Of course you would. <laughs> of course I would. <laughs> but I added a little sound effect of him laughing after he did it. Anything that poops on me, everybody's fair game for it, right? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Plus, right. I have the flexibility of being the one that edits the video, so I can do all sorts of yeah. fun stuff. Um, it's just so like just, fatherhood, you always get pooped on. Hey, just just keep that in mind, though, as, as we go through the season, because all sorts of crazy stuff could happen. <laughs> right. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the way that you felt about the trip. I want to talk about a little bit of, about the way that I felt about the trip. Um, so that way people can see kind of behind the scenes of the way that we, we our minds work, I guess, as, as we're pulling up to, okay. you know, after, after we digest exactly what happened during the day, because we're always trying to learn from that. Um, from each trip that we have so that we can get better. I mean, that's the name of the game. So, I mean, as far as I go, dude, like the way that I see it, when we went out there, one of the biggest takeaways that I had was that um, we started the day off with, with a few different plans. The first plan didn't work out, so we moved to the next plan. The, the next plan didn't work out, so we moved to the next plan. So for me, it's always important to have a few different ways that you can attack the day because the first the first time that you go out it, it might not work out the way you want it to and you may have to make adjustments yeah I totally agree with that like pretty much what we did on this trip we made you know the old saying goes you got to make chicken soup out of chicken crab you know and, and that's kind of what we did we went out looking for a trout and reds and it was just cold and everything had changed so much from the last time we had went we tried and went to some spots and gave it a whirl and, you know, gave it everything we had. And then, you know, after many hours of not really making that happen for us, we decided to switch gears and go get some jetty snappers. <laughs> That's it. That's it. 
That was a super nice trout that you caught though. I would have traded both of my peeves on that day for that one trout, but then again, I, you know, I haven't caught any trout that are that big either. Yeah, it, uh, it was definitely a thick one. She was, she was definitely healthy. That's why I had to make sure to let that one go. But the main thing that 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 just kind of stands out in my mind is is just adapting. You know, like dealing with the cards that are thrown at you. That's all you can do on any day out there. One of the things that it's, uh, we need to point out, I guess, to to the well, I got the camera on, so YouTube's joining us right now for this conversation. But um, I feel like they need to know they need to work the current. Definitely. Uh, my thing is, I know it might sound stupid, but think like a fish. Like fish, especially you know, fish that gain any size, they're all in the business of eating as much as they possibly can without expending, you know, with expending as little energy as they possibly can. So anytime you have any kind of current or anything like the bridge that we were fishing there with all the pilings and rock and all that, you know, they're going to sit on the, where there's the least amount of current where they can sit there and just eat as much as they possibly can. So my, my thing is, is I, I constantly look for some irregularities in current, current breaks, stuff like that. Like just current, current, current. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> so that's my guy. That's right my there. biggest thing. Yeah, he is. Oh, here's your leaf. Yep, he picked up a leaf on the way out of daycare. He's gonna give it to mom. Oh, that's nice. Yep. <laughs> I'm sure so. she's gonna appreciate it. Yeah, nice brown dead leaf. Yep. yep. What all moms want. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, that's. I think that's all we should give him for, at least for this episode. I'm gonna tell him about one. You know, one filming trick. It's not even a trick, really. Uh, before we go and what I want to ingrain in you guys as you go along like filming saltwater fishing filming any fishing is difficult but filming saltwater fishing is extremely difficult it's going to be hard on your equipment but what I want to leave you with for today if you want to make good videos guess what you need to film everything it's way better to have too much footage to deal with when you get home so that you can cut all the junk out than to not have any footage to start. So if you think you're gonna go out there, start catching fish, and then hit the hit the you know hit the record button as it as it's going down or it's all madness, guess what? It's not gonna work out the way that you want it to. So make sure that you shoot way more footage than you actually need because it's it's gonna benefit you in the long run. So I guess my tip for today: make sure you got plenty of storage so that you can house your material. Well, that's it, man. That's Tim. I, th I think we're busting out of here, dude. But hey, before we go, I want you guys, if you like the channel, like, comment, subscribe on there. Smash the like button or smash the subscribe button if that's something that you're into. If you're not, that's cool too. Um, the other thing is, is we're going to be doing tip segments and all sorts of stuff and giveaways and all sorts of crazy stuff throughout the course of the year. I'm not huge on giveaways, but I, I feel like we can probably do that for you guys throughout this year. Um, and then at the end of this video, I've, I've got some extra fishing footage uh, from the trip that we didn't decide to use for this particular video. So, Tim, I'm out of here, dog. What you got for him? That's it, man. That's it. I'm on my way home from work. Another cold day. And it sounds like you got it under control, my friend. All right. We're out of here then. Deuces. Peace out, player. Drop again. More sheep. Didn't call me the sheep herder. <laughs> Clear today. Oh yeah. They fight really hard. They're fun to catch. Everybody says they're good eating, but I never ate one. I'm not into it. It's too much of a pain to clean them. Drum. I got super dope knives. It's not like my knives are the problem. Let's see if he'll get lit up by this thing. If it was a ribbon fish, you'd be guaranteeing this son of a bleeding. I'd be screwed if it Yeah, was if it was a ribbon, bro, lens would be bleeding. Yeah, but if this was a ribbon, I wouldn't be handling this fish. No, you'd be just cutting your jig. You're like, no ribbon fish. Ribbon fish are my nemesis. Yep. Uh-oh, it looks like Coast Guard helicopter out there looking for people, someone. Low and slow, no good. Yeah, low, low and slow, man. No good. We got boarded today. Tim's hooked up on a giant. Oh my God.
Did you see that tail swirl? Oh, man. Yucca. <laughs> he fought like a giant, okay? He had the heart of a giant. Baby sheep. Oh, I got him in the eye. Oh, you're a dick. Sorry, buddy. Wow, right through the eyeball. All right, hooked up again. Halfway decent one. I don't think it's going to be like the 21 and a half, but he's a good one. It's a good one. Legit. Oh. Okay. Okay. Boy, if I wanted to slay the sheep head and keep them to eat, today would have been the day. But we're not going to do that. We got boarded by the uh, Coast Guard. Yeah, we got boarded today by the Coast Guard. Come and did a... Uh Safety, Safety check. check on the vessel, on the slain vessel. We passed with flying colors, no violations. We'll try to keep it on the up and down.